What's happening guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I rotate running shoes as I'm marathon training. Over the past couple years of me really obsessing over running, I've had an opportunity to run in a ton of shoes. And over time, I've realized that you can actually hurt yourself if you run in a shoe for too long. Jessica Car Tire, you don't wanna overuse the shoe. Over time, after you accumulate a ton of miles, it doesn't give you as much support and it actually can lead to injuries. And a lot of people end up dealing with shin splints plantar fasciitis just because they're overusing a running shoe. Having multiple running shoes in your rotation is super good for increasing the lifespan of the shoe itself, but it'll also give you as a runner different options when you're doing track workouts, easy runs, recovery runs, or if you're doing a speed day. Now, let's get into it. First up, Nike Invincible Breeze. This is a max cushion, neutral road running shoe. This is Nike's most cushioned shoe. So if you're someone that really likes to have a cushion feel when you're on runs, kind of like running on clouds, this is a really good option for you. Typically I'll use this on easy runs, recovery runs, or if I'm just like trying to go super slow and not feel much of the ground, this is a really good shoe to kind of go on your easy day. Because of the max cushion, the invisible threes are perfect whether you're on the road or if you're on a paved gravel just like this. The upper material has an enhanced finite, which adds the right combination of flexibility and support. The shoe also has a rocker motion, which helps propel the step forward through all three stages of your stride. With the max cushion, it has a soft padded midsole that makes it feel like you're running on clouds. And also the new colorways and design of this shoe make it look like the best running shoe on the roads. We're done with the Invincibles. Now we're gonna rotate into the Pegasus 40s. This is a neutral road running shoe with mid-level cushion and it's Nike's tried and true daily training option. They have 40 iterations of this shoe, which means there's 40 years of different Nike Pegasus shoes out there it's just like what i said daily training shoe so you can use it for a lot of things whether it's easy runs whether it's a track workout whether it's you wanted to do some intervals or even a long run i've used this shoe and i put it through the ringer for a lot of miles whether it was a five mile speed workout a three mile easy run or doing a 20 mile run i've also run a marathon in these shoes It's one of those shoes you can do a little bit of everything and it's typically why I travel with that shoe. Even my videographer's wearing them. The reason I would rotate into the Pegasus 40s for speed days or track workouts is that for me, it's a lot more responsive. The shoe is lighter weight and because the midsole doesn't have the max cushion, you're able to actually pick up some more speed and it's a lot lighter on your feet. The Pegasus 40s upper material is made out of a mesh, which makes it very lightweight and breathable. It has a comfort collar, which makes for a much more comfortable fit right around the ankle of your foot. The Pegasus 40 features the Nike React technology, which provides a responsive and flexible feel, which when you're running fast, especially on the track, or if you're doing like a fartlek workout, or even if you're at a marathon, you're gonna have that responsive feel to run fast. Switching out of the Peg 40, last one, Nike Infinity 4. This is a max cushion road running shoe with stability. And what stability means is it's really good for someone that is either over pronating or over supinating their foot. And it gives you a little bit more support in that midsole, especially if you're comparing it to a neutral shoe like a Pegasus or the Invincible. It's perfect for daily training. If you're getting ready for a race, whether it's on the track, the road, or the treadmill, this could be a really good shoe, especially if you need something with extra stability. This shoe's been in the rotation on easy runs, especially after a hard workout or a lift in the gym. So if you're looking for a little more stability and a little bit more cushion, this is the one. Why would someone need a stability running shoe? They offer extra support and control for runners who over pronate or over supinate their foot, which basically means that it rolls in too much or you're kind of running duck footed. And when you're like that, it's not a normal running gait. So when you have a stability shoe, just like the Infinity, 
it's gonna give you more support and more comfort as you're on the run so you don't hurt yourself. Even as someone that has a neutral foot and a neutral running gait, using a stability shoe like the Infinity 4 is still really beneficial in my shoe rotation because it's good to rotate on my easy days, on my recovery runs, because it has a lot more comfort and cushion in the midsole. You never wanna have to rely on a stability shoe, but if you're a beginner and you wanna start your journey, you don't wanna have to think about refixing or working through your entire running gait in your running form. Using a stability shoe can help you just begin your journey and then you'll progress as you get better. The Infinity has a finite upper which creates specific zones of breathability, flexibility, and containment. The tongue is also made out of finite, so it's very adjustable and it doesn't cause any ankle irritation. It also has a stacked cushion midsole, which makes it max cushion under your foot, which helps with shock absorption and optimal comfort. It's also gonna give you that forward propulsion and durability because it has a curved rocker outsole, which combines increased rubber to ensure that you can last all day on your feet without any pain. So that's how I rotate my running shoes for marathon training. Once again, guys, it's important to have a good rotation. So you have shoes that you can use for the track, shoes you can use for your easy runs and your long runs. And it's good to mix it up so you not only save your legs, but you also save the mileage on the shoes. Most shoes only have a lifespan of anywhere from 300 to like 450 miles. So you wanna make sure that you're not wearing it down too much because it could lead to injuries and it also leads to a lot of wear and tear on your body, but also the shoe itself. My personal favorite out of this rotation is probably the Nike Pegasus 40, just because of how versatile it is. I love the fact that I could travel with it. I could do speed work, easy runs, long runs, and even a marathon if I had to. So that's probably my go-to pick. If you made it this far into the video, drop in the keyword Pegasus, and I'll make sure I comment right back to you. I hope you guys got some value out of it. If you did, drop in the comments what running shoes you're rotating in right now. See y'all in the next one. Deuces. Thank mm -hmm. you.